Hey everyone, today we are going to be talking about Facebook Insights. This is one of my uh, go-to tools for researching personas and then also for targeting ads in Facebook and finding out demographic information. So you can access it through the Facebook Ads Manager. It's uh, free and it can be used to provide you with behavioral data and then demographic data about your audience or your potential prospects. Uh, Facebook built this tool to enable advertisers to target their ads more effectively. We as an agency use it really to learn about our audience and even if we aren't advertising to them we're going to use this information. So it helps us build out our personas and then also create content topics and strategies for our clients. The data comes from two sources. So a lot of it is the self-reported Facebook data. So it's given by their users when they fill out their profile information. But then they also have some third party data partners. So it's information such as household income or purchasing behavior, and then the home value is also available through external companies that match the data to Facebook user IDs. So this is where that information comes from Facebook Insights. To use this tool, you can just log into your uh, Facebook's ad manager. You're first going to want to click on your ad account, and that's going to pull up your, your home page of your ad account. Then you want to go to Tools and go to Audience Insights. So this is step one. We're going to choose our audience and Facebook is going to open up a pop-up window to prompt you and it's going to give you three options. So you can look at everyone on Facebook, you could look at people that's connected to your page or even a custom audience. So a custom audience might be something that you already have in your business manager or it might be an email list that you want to upload to Facebook and that way they'll match your email addresses to any profile that they have on record and then you're going to be able to utilize and kind of get some demographic and behavioral data from them. In this case we're going to just click on everyone from Facebook Okay, so here we can go in our interests and we can type in something like marketing profs. If we want to find people that are interested in that to serve some ads to or just find out what other interests they have, we can get a baseline of like their age group, the ages, and who are interested in that page on Facebook. Then we can go into page likes. We can get an idea of what are the top categories that relate to people that like marketing profs on Facebook. And we can see compared what the audience audiences are as well. So we might, if we're looking to target people that like mar marketing profs in our advertising campaign, we might run ads towards that. But we might also run a different ad set towards HubSpot or Mashable or Facebook for Business. Uh, even Ted, even Ted would be a good one to go after and just test to see like is that resonating? Are these ads resonating with that audience specifically on Facebook? The other thing we can do is go through locations. We can kind of get an idea of what cities and states uh, have the most population targeting those, uh, those Facebook pages, and then activity and household information. If we're running ads to get engagement, what is the type of comments and the post likes and everything else are we getting for somebody that likes marketing profs? If we want to compare that to maybe HubSpot, then we would change out this information and put that in there. So once we get the information that we want uh, from this, we might want to save it. So one of the nice options is you could just click here and you can click save at the top of the page and you're going to give it a name. And you can see that we already had an audience saved in here before. So I save it. So to open up a previously saved audience, you can click on the open tab and it's going to show you a list of your saved audiences. And then the final thing is just if you are going to be running ads in Power Editor, you're going to be able to utilize this data as well. And these, these audiences, these saved audiences are going to be available to you when you're setting up your ads.